Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and this is not a tutorial, this is a simple video announcing uh, Google Universal Analytics will be going away. Uh, you guys may or may not have heard about it, but I want to make sure it's clear and explain the details of it so you guys all know. Uh, so currently most websites uh, use Google Analytics and most websites currently use Universal Analytics, which is the third version. Last year, Google Analytics released GA4, Google Analytics version 4, uh, and what they, they announced recently is they're going to, next year in 2023, in July 2023, they're going to bas basically shut off Google uh, Analytics the universal analytics. So most websites, millions and millions of websites have universal analytics. What that means is you'll be able to gather data up till July 1st, 2023, uh, and it'll at least be six months uh, available for you after it starts gathering. So at least six months after that, you'll be able to still access data. But what they're trying to do is get you to uh, upgrade to Google Analytics 4 so you have all of your data. So I want to uh, make sure it's very clear for everybody out there that you should be upgrading to Google Analytics uh, GA4, the fourth version, uh, as soon as possible. And I'll explain a few things, important things that we need to know. Number one, uh, you can only uh, collect data in the Universal Analytics until July 2023, which is currently a little over the, a year from this video. Second thing is, at least six months late after that, you'll be able to just access your old data, okay? Uh, and then, so that's the second thing. The third thing is, um, you are probably going to want to upgrade to GA4 a lot earlier because you, you in many cases, uh, marketing, SEO people, and, and analysis people, they want to be able to uh, compare before and after data. So you don't want to upgrade right before it cuts off because you won't have old data. And there's currently no way to migrate the data from the old to the new. There will be some things in the future, but they're currently very, very complicated using API, stuff like that. Uh, measurement protocol, stuff like that. So a few other things that are very, very important. Uh, number one, you want to upgrade so you can have your old data. Now, uh, second thing is you can have on your current website both tracking codes for uh, Universal Analytics and GA4. So that means that you can still keep the old data and gather data for the old data, but you can also have the GA4 at the same time. So what I recommend to do is keep your old tracking code, but add your new one, okay? Uh, the next thing that's very important if you want to uh, back up your data, um, number one, if you're a programmer, obviously you can use the API and you can start gathering a ton, a ton of data and eventually you can put into GA4, but that's a whole different topic for a video and it's very complex because there's a ton of data. The other thing, if you use Google Analytics 360 or enterprise customer, you can export to BigQuery and these are very, very complicated things. So what is the most popular way to, to uh, export data? Uh, just so you have it in spreadsheets and things like that. The most popular way to do is just like it says, is export individual reports. So wh what does that look like? And we recommend for you to think about what important data do you want? Obviously, you're probably not going to export everything because this is going to take a ton of time. But basically what you're going to do, you're going to go to any of the reports here. Almost all of the reports have an export functionality. And you're going to go one by one to a report. For example, your traffic report, and you're going to select the dates that you want. Now you might need to have, for example, you know, 20 different exports or 50 or 100. So you might export all of your data, for example, take the last, you know, 10 years or five years or whatever it might be. And you might uh, want to export, for example, monthly data or things like that yearly, annual, depends on what you need. And you're going to go one by one. After you choose the date, you're going to click on the export and you're going to choose whatever format you want. Obviously, you can open in Excel, you can open in Google Sheets and PDF. Typically, uh, we use a lot of Google, uh, basically Excel and Google Sheets. So you're going to do one of these and you're going to keep it. And I recommend for you to really grab and back up as much data as you can. Okay. Um, what else is very important to know? Um, in the next few months, Google will announce how much longer than the six months will it be available to do. They might change the dates because a lot of people freaked out about uh, Google Universal Analytics not being able to work, things like that. Um, the other, the, the kind of the last thing I want to mention is a lot of people, including myself, uh, when Google Analytics 4 came out last year, uh, it was very uh, difficult. It, it's it, the UI looked different, the concepts looked different, the way the, the 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 data flow was different, the setup. Everything seemed very complicated, and a lot of people, and again, including myself, kind of freaked out, and we postponed uh, learning GA4 for a long time. 
Uh, but kind of recently, uh, I looked and I started learning it because I figured we got to do it anyways. And currently, it's the best analytics uh, platform, at least from my opinion, that is available out there. And obviously, it's free, so we need to upgrade to it. Uh, and, and honestly, um, I would say after about 10 hours or so of work, maybe 15 hours, um, I think it's actually closer to 10 hours, uh, I already kind of felt comfortable with the concepts and how the reports look. So even though it looks scary in the beginning, and I've been using a analytics and universal analytics for years and years and years and years, uh, and it looked a little uh, off, it looked difficult, but when I uh, just checked out a few tutorial videos and then started using them on real uh, projects of ours, then it just became almost normal. I would say like I'm not 100% the same comfort with the universal analytics, but it's it's pretty it's fine. So the last thing is don't worry about it. Uh, spend the time. Uh, it's obviously important for your business, your website, and uh, your analysis. So spend the time. It's really not that amount of time. You just get new concepts and you're fine. Um, so that's it. Hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Please update yourself. Uh, check back with the, these videos. Check back with Google. Upgrade already. Have two tracking codes. Start learning it as soon as possible. And most importantly, this YouTube channel is here to help you guys. If you have questions about anything about Google Analytics, the upgrade, GA4, um, let us know. We'll answer as much as we can. If you notice our comments, we always answer uh, almost every, every comment, right? And we'll obviously be making a lot of Google Analytics GA4 videos. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and appreciate it. And good luck upgrading. Uh, and I would love to hear your feedback. Thanks, guys.